Hi, welcome to Gammy's Gone Gray. If you're new, welcome. And I hope you hit subscribe after you watch this. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. It's a snowy day here in central New York. And I've got a great, um, well, I guess it depends on who's uh, voting on this. But I have a good Dollar Tree slash Walmart haul. So I'm excited to show you some updates and some things that I have found. And I want to definitely show you the end result of my sconce, my wall sconces. Um, they came out great. I am just thrilled with them. And so let's dig in. We're going to get started with uh, Dollar Tree things first. And if I bend over to dig out of a bag, forgive me. Okay, so let's get started with the couple things that I have right here. I found these little beauties, these little pot holders, and they are the silicone ones. I have never used these before, but I have the mitts with silicone on them. And what I really like is I can put these on my granite countertops and throw hot pans on them and etc. So my kitchen is um, got black and gray granite. So I bought a black and gray one. And they're a pretty good size. So you can use it as a mitt, but you also can use it as a, you know, a trivet. So I got two of those. I also, <laughs> so thrilled. These are really hard to find now. I showed you these in my last haul and to find these is almost impossible. I was able to find two more, praise God, because I'd like to make two more of these. At the very least, give them as a gift, if not sell them, you know, the sconces that I made. So I found two of these. I have looked in all my other Dollar Trees and I can't even find these online. So I'll probably, if I start making more of those sconces, I'll end up using the twine instead of these. But I was able to find two more of those. Um, something that I should have had in my house for a long time and I never did was um, just a simple ice pack. I always use frozen vegetables, but uh, it's nice to have a, just a pack. I have my grandkids over all the time and forever. We are having a boop, a boop? a boo-boo, a bump, a whatever. And I sure could have used this for my nose. What do you get, by the way? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so I've yet to see uh, my an ENT. Um, they said they sent, my my primary sent that said that they had sent a referral. And here I am yet to see the ENT because they have got not gotten the referral yet. But it is healing, but it still hurts very bad over here. I can't push on it. I can't touch it. Oh, sorry. I don't know what's going on with my, my camera here. Okay, so simple. They had different colors, but, you know, you little ice. Oh, I'm so sorry. What's going on? It keeps falling on me. Okay. Um, it's a dollar. Beauty Guru Natural Under Eye Serum with Sea Buckthorn with a roll-on applicator. Mm -hmm. um, gently apply under the eyes. Use at night to reduce puffiness, dark lines, and the appearance of fine lines. It's got all coconut oil, rose hip. Um, sea buckthorn, I don't know what sea buckthorn is, lemon, frankincense, it's got all natural things, and it was a dollar, so I'm going to try it, I'll let you know, I use, um, I'm going to do a, a vlog on different products I use, not that you really care, this was a good buy, Crayola, the marker and paint pad, now, hold please, <laughs> sorry, because I already use this. Bought this. This was one of my things that I got at the Walmart um, haul. Now, my grandkids do a lot of painting and they also like to use markers. And this is the nice thick pad of paper. Well, this that comes with 20 sheets was $3.47. This Crayola, which is 
considerably smaller, but it comes with 25 sheets, and it's actually even better quality. Well, I don't know if it's better quality. No, I wouldn't say it's better quality. Scratch that. Now, Strathmore is thicker, more cardboardy feeling. So three forty-seven, but I had got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, what else do I? Get? Oh, so much from the Dollar Tree. Hold, please. Um, I don't know if you tried these. They there's fourteen in a box, and they're the flat ties, as it says, and it has a lemon smell. I use these for. Uh, my smaller garbage cans in my bathroom, in my bedrooms, in the playroom. I don't use these for my kitchen. I use heavy duty ones in my kitchen, but for a dollar you get 14 of these bags and that's a pretty good deal. So got that. Got myself some of the lightweight spackling. At the, this is all Dollar Tree by the way. Dollar Tree. The lightweight spackling. So when we're doing projects and you gotta fill in a hole, you got to fill in a ridge. You know, um, I've yet to ever use this. I've been using, I've been using toothpaste. It doesn't work as good. So I've seen a lot of people use this on um, their, their vlogs. So we're going to give this a shot and see if this works. I mean, again, one dollar. Got myself some wood glue. I heard again on other people's vlogs that this, Dollar Tree wood glue works really, really good. So I've used um, other glues, but never used this one on my wood projects. So we're going to try this out and see how it works. You can sand it, paint it, drill it, it you know. A dollar. A dollar. You're saying, why do you keep saying it's a dollar? We know it's a dollar. Okay, this is what I actually went out for today. And then, of course, I just went hauling. Um the windmills. This is very in right now for your uh, for your farmhouse look. And I am um, got a little project. I bought three of them. They had this color, which is this is what I wanted, the brushed steel kind of black. They had an other color that was almost like a teal blue brushed. I didn't like that at all. So I bought three of these. I want to do a wall hanging to go over my fireplace. I have an idea. Yeah, it's gonna it's not it's not difficult, but we'll see. I need something to go over my my fireplace now. Um, I pretty much have gotten rid of all the stuff that I had used to put over across my fireplace. So now I need to redo it. Um, got little of these little eggs that are out for the Easter stuff. Um, I will show you what I'm going to do with these. They're very cute, and I just realized that one is broke. It figures. I pick up the one that has a hole in it. Well, I can turn it around. I won't show. So I bought a pack of these. Little Easter eggs, but they're not going to be Easter eggs when I'm done with them. Oh, this. Okay, so rub on transfer words. I never find them in my Dollar Tree. Ever, never, ever, never, ever. So today, I almost jumped out of my skin. They had a whole bunch of different ones, and I bought the ones that I wanted. So I bought the ones that kind of look like the Ray Dunn lettering. Got a pack of these. And now I'm thinking, hmm, Lainey, you probably should have bought two, but I got one. I got this one that has, uh, I don't know how you describe this font. I'm sorry, you're getting the, you're getting the, um, here, how's that? Getting the reflection off my window. By the way, it's snowing hard here. And if you're from Texas, I'm sorry. Oh, welcome to our world. <laughs> I have two relatives in Texas, and they are whining and crying right now. Okay, so got this lettering with some flowers and stuff, you know, some vines. 
So fluttering. And then this one is got just little funny, funny sayings. And let me put this so you don't get the, there. Can you read it? All the different little. Gather, memories, cherish, fam, adventure, explore, share, journey, celebrate, all sorts of different words. So these are the rub-on transfers. I was very happy to see this. They give you some ideas in the back how to use these. Um, I already know what I want to use these for, but again, uh, we never found the, the rub-on transfer. So I was very ecstatic about that. I needed new paintbrushes. And um, I was always looking for a chip brush. It's And I'm going to show you. It's distinctive. It's called a chip brush. And I, I didn't go to the hardware store, but I would look around Walmart and I'd look around other places and I never saw a chip brush. Found it at the Dollar Tree today. But I did need um, some other crafting. I love, I needed this, this teeny, teeny, can you see how teeny, teeny, weeny to do lettering and fine lines. I didn't have, I have one of these, but I didn't have this. So I picked up another set of paint brushes and as I just said, the chip brush. I let me show you the tip. Can you see the tip? It's kind of jagged and gives a wispy kind of look. Uh, so I was very happy to find it comes with two chip brushes. Okay, and the last thing for my Dollar Tree. Dun, 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 was they had Maybelline. My Dollar Trees here in Central New York, where I am, have basically wet and wild. They don't have hard candy. I've seen other people's vlogs. They have some other name brands. I never get any of that. Um, but occasionally we do get Maybelline. And they had the Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Pen in Apricot. And Apricot is for dark circles, light to medium tones. Um, I might be medium to dark, depending on the time of year. But I definitely have dark circles, and right now I really have dark circles because of my stinking black eye. But for a dollar, I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, so that's for my Dollar Tree haul. Now, let's move on to the things I got at, and I didn't get a lot, but I got a couple things at um, Walmart today. So first, I needed... <laughs> I needed an appliance brush. Uh, nope, this was not Walmart. Oops, sorry. This is from Home Depot. This is not a Walmart. I'm so sorry, but it's a dryer vent cleaner. Okay, so scratch that. That's not that, that's not Walmart. Um, they had shirts on sale. And I got this one, and I like, I like how it ties up in the middle. You see the little tie up in the middle? This is really not my kind of thing, this, this embellishment. I don't really go for that. But it was three bucks. It was three dollars. So I got an extra large because I've been gaining weight. Hand over fist, I've been gaining weight. I'll work on it in the spring. I'm not worried about it right now. But um, this will be big on me. I like my things really large. I like to be floppy on me. So anyways, $3, and it originally was $13, $12.98. So I got this for $3. Go over a little pair of white capris or blue jeans. And um, I got this little t-shirt. Can you see it? Thou shalt not try me. This is a, absolutely a shirt for me. Um, this was on sale also for $3. I think originally, and this is not an extra large. This is like, it was originally $5.98. But was this $3 or $2? I can't remember. Um, so I got one for myself, and then I got a pale pink one that says, uh, Mama Needs Wine. And I let my granddaughter give that to my daughter for Valentine's Day yesterday. Um, I needed some thicker twine. 
So I got myself some more twine. This is a little thicker than what you get at the Dollar Tree. And it's a little sturdier. I don't know how if that... This is Dollar Tree twine. This is Walmart twine. Okay? So, uh, and how much was this, Lainey? Hmm. It wasn't more than $2. I do know that. And I've already opened it up because I was investigating it. Um, okay, when I showed you these, the windmills, and they're all connected together so they won't let go right now. I was showing you the windmills. I found this at Walmart. What is this? Can you see this? Yeah. A galvanized steel Hampton Art galvanized palette. It was five something, five, a little over five dollars. And this is one of the things I'm going to be using with my idea with the windmills. Perfect. I was so excited to find this. I was going to find, um, do something with wood. And I may still, and then bring this back. But this is kind of, it's very farmhousey. Okay. <laughs> I will show you later in the reveal with the other stuff. But I needed more um, of the lavender picks. And they were 97 cents a piece. And they are very realistic. They even, um, the leaves have got a texture like, like lamb's ear. And I'll show you the arrangement that I've done in my, my living room and the arrangement I did my, my sconces. So I bought five more picks of this. 97 cents. I also have already separated these. But I was able to find these wild, I don't remember what these were, were called, wild flowers or something. But, um, and I haven't arranged them really well, so forgive that they're not really arranged too well. But I stuck them, remember I, I was able to get these lids at the Dollar Tree for my ball jars. And so I bought two sets of these wild flowers to go in my ball jars that sit out here. And I, the only thing I, I would tell you about these is that they drop those little balls everywhere. Everywhere. I got these little, every time you touch these, the little white balls go flying out. So I got those. Those were $3.47 a bunch. Okay. And just two more things. So um, I bought these lights the other day and I put them in uh, two of the sconces. I have one more sconce I need to put together and uh, the battery operated string lights in silver. You can see that they're silver. I would tell you, uh, these are extremely bright. I'm really shocked at how bright these are. I am not going to be doing a reveal at night to show you with them on, but take my word for it for three, $3.48, I think it was, um, a piece. They take uh, three to how many batteries? It doesn't say. I want to say it's three. And it's on a timer. Uh, the timer goes six hours on, 18, uh, six hours on, 18 hours off. So I have three sets of these. And then, I didn't buy the big bottles of this because I don't think I'll use a lot of this, but the Waverly Chalk Paint, you know I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of Waverly Chalk Paint. And I did not, I have the Elephant Gray, but I did not have uh, the Steel. So I bought the smaller bottle. And these are $1.67, I think, for the two fluid ounces. So I bought the Steel. And I bought the silver lining. This, put these together along with, excuse me, with the elephant gray, you can get galvanized steel look on pretty much any surface. And I will promise that I will show you when I do that. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and I'm going to come back on really quick to show you the reveal of my sconces. 
Thank you for joining me. Love you all. Hope you're doing well. Stay warm. Stay safe. Our, our city, our city, our state is doing really well with the COVID numbers. Praise God. Praise God. I'm praying for some of you, some of you out there that I know a little closer and personally. I, you're in my prayers. And um, that's it, guys. I'll show you a really quick reveal in just a moment. There they are in all their glory. This is with the lavender. See now, I'm trying to figure out if I want to put some rocks down here, you know, pebbles to cover up the, the light box. I don't have the lights in this one yet. And here's the wildflowers that just I found at the Dollar Tree. I showed you this. Um, so two different looks. I'm gonna go with this. I have to trim up the stems uh, because I have these in another vase that I will show you in just a second. All right, so there's the arrangement in my living room that I have the same um, lavender. Therefore, that's why I think that I'd like to keep the lavender in my, in my sconces that are over there. Okay, so... Um, my next vlog, I think I will be doing um, on hair products that I use, only because on Saturday I took my uh, number three grandchild out for a date, and we were at the mall, Destiny, USA, and um, <clears throat> again, and now this is, this is getting to be something else. I had a woman, well, it was not, she didn't come up to me, she was running this two-story slide that I was paying to put let my grandson go on and I go up to pay and she says before I even say anything she says I love your hair color is that natural and I said yes it is thank you so much I can't believe how many compliments I get on the color of my hair never got a compliment even once when I was a brunette and as I'm saying this, then another woman does come up to us and says, I was just watching you and thinking the same thing. Is that natural? I love the color of your hair. And I go, thank you. Thank you. It makes me feel like I should have gone gray a long time ago. I've saved myself literally hundreds of dollars by not dying it every three weeks. And I get compliments everywhere I go. So I will tell you the stuff I use on it. And um, anyway, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And God bless. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.